Hey everybody, this is Brad and I wanted to share with you some new features of uh, PVP version 3.1 which we're releasing. And uh, we've had a couple months of use of uh, PVP version 3 in the wild and a lot of different events and so that experience has given us the ability to or the insight in how to improve the product in a number of different ways and uh, have a couple new features that we also wanted to share with you. So first of all, PVP 3.1 has over 40 new bug fixes. Um, so these are just enhancements that we found when we were actually working in practical environments, uh, things that need to be uh, improved in, in some ways. But uh, let's get down into uh, some of the, the cool new features. Version 3, when we released it, didn't have any communications functionality. Our previous versions of PDP, we were able to, con uh, to connect to lighting consoles and MIDI and these kinds of things. So we wanted to take a step towards giving you additional communications capabilities for live events and for fixed installations. And so the first uh, communications protocol that we're excited to introduce is DMX support. So we have DMX support through ArtNet 3. Um, here's just the configuration where you're actually configuring your DMX device and uh, seeing you know, the, the various IP addresses that you might want to connect from. You have complete control over the workspace as well as the individual layers. And we have a limited control set for DMX at this point. Uh, this is designed for people that are, for lighting designers that are actually gonna set up their cues within PDP3, but then actually control it from a lighting console. So you don't get the fine tune control over the properties for various effects or whatnot, but it does you, give you uh, control both from the workspace level as well as from individual layers to select a cue, select a playlist, and then to uh, specify the blend modes and, and effect sets that might be live on those individual uh, layers. So we're really excited to get uh, DMX uh, support to you in this first version uh, or in, in version 3.1 and look forward to uh, enhancing this uh, more in the future as we get more feedback from our users. And the second support, um, there's a lot of different things that you can actually control in PDP3, uh, blend levels and op opacity levels, effect sets and these kinds of things. And so we wanted to give a control uh, from a broad uh, perspective from uh, from your own protocol, if you were. So what we actually did is we created our own HTTP control server right within PVP 3.1. What this gives you the, the ability to do is because we have a server built into the product, we were able to actually write our own protocol. And with this protocol, you can actually do command line arguments uh, to the software and control it as well as uh, read information from it. So I'd like to give you a brief overview of this and then show you how you can find out more information about it. In the, in the preferences, you simply enable a network and that sets up our communications API. We have complete online documentation built into the software. So we actually, within our HTTP server, we, uh, we have uh, documentation so you can see how all this works. And uh, we also have the ability to authenticate so that you, if you're on an open network, uh, you, you're not going to be beholden to somebody actually getting or breaking into your network and actually controlling PDP in a show, which would not be a good thing. So some, this is getting kind of into a code level, but for example, this, uh, this curl command, which you would do at a command line from either the local host or from uh, on a network, this is letting us get information for a given layer. So I can get the, the name of the layer, I can find out whether it's hidden, whether it's muted, uh, and the different properties for that layer. And with this information, then I can then program it to actually do different things like triggering a specific cue, changing the playlist, set an effect on a particular layer, get all transitions, set a transition for a particular layer. These are all just command line, uh, it's a command line interface for essentially controlling PVP3, which a lot of different uh, hardware and, and products that are coming out these days uh, want to have this flexibility to communicate from one thing to another. So by creating our own protocol, it's given us the ability to communicate with a lot of different devices, uh, more so than if we were to just kind of pigeonhole and say, hey, we're gonna just do DMX or we're gonna do MIDI. This gives us a lot of flexibility for a lot of different projects, whether it be, again, for live installations or for fixed installations. Um, in addition to the command line interface, you can also do HTTP requests. Uh, so here's some examples for triggering a queue with an HTTP POST request setting a transition on a layer again with an HTTP POST request. And then again, we have the online documentation. It's a beautiful interface so that you can actually go in and on the left-hand side, you can see all the various commands that are available. And then we have uh, the ability to actually get the results of those commands or see what that actually, what that, those different protocols look like, both in, as a shell command as well as uh, in an HTT, HTTP call. So a lot of new functionality. We're looking forward to seeing what our users are able to come up with uh, and using this new communi communications functionality. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great enhancement to the software. We're looking to enhance it even further with additional communication protocols, but we want to get this into your hands and hope you enjoy it. Take a look at it, play with it, and uh, let us know your feedback. Look forward to hearing from you.